Hi there, welcome back. I'm Lee Sharon and this is Old Tavern Farm. It's been a little while since the first video I uploaded of 2022, in which I talked about the sitting room renovation. Well, it's taken a little longer than I expected it to because we had some color snafus and some midstream switching of horses and a little bit of a supply chain delay. Uh, but it's all done now and I wanted to show you guys how it turned out. It's been also very cold and my husband and I have been sick, but we're fine. Um, so we finished up that project while we were sick. And so I wanted to show you guys, um, take a few minutes and just show you how it turned out and uh, what the colors that we used were and um, just try to get back into the swing of things now that uh, the worst of winter has passed and we're headed downhill to spring. So let's uh, go take a look and see how it all turned out. So I ended up picking a few <laughs> colors for this room that were a little different than what you normally might do in an old house. I went with a color for the walls called Farm Fresh. I just could not pass up this color. It's a little bit different. I know that everybody seems to be decorating in tones of white and you know, bright pops of color, but it's a little too contemporary for this house and for me. Um, so this, this wall color is a nice medium green. It's called Farm Fresh. The trim, I, I wanted the trim to be this color, which is called this color for the window. I redid all the windows, as you can see. Um, and I wanted the trim to be this color, which is called Frivolous Folly by Benjamin Moore, um, and I ended up going with this color here, this sort of milk chocolate color, which is called Swiss Mocha, and it's by Valspar, which is, um, I ended up having to go to Lowe's for that, um, but I just, I just had the hardest time with the trim. This this is actually under here. This is actually a big post and beam, as I've told you guys before. This is a post and beam house. So under here is a big, like, what, 8x8 eight eight tree trunk, more or less, um, that goes all the, um, all the rooms in this house are, you can see over here, there's one there, but someone has blocked in a piece of drywall to make it look less obvious, but... Um, that's what this house is, a post and beam and plank house. It's built in 1806, <laughs> as I've told you guys a million times before. Um, but then what I went with on the windows, as I'll show you, is, and this is the window I showed you way back in the day that was really in wretched shape. So I went through and scraped all the windows and sanded them and repainted everything in this frivolous folly paint. As you can see, our storm windows also need to be attended to, so there's always something to do here at Old Tavern Farm. But, um, but that's, that's what I went with. I went with um, these very sort of not popular colors, but it's okay. So this corner over here has our um, has all our le electronics. Um, I wish someday I would find something I can put in front of that to disguise it, but that's just how it goes. And then this over here is the toy chest for the grandkids and where I stash my chocolate. <laughs> and then this is my work cabinet where all my uh, baking supplies live. 
And then this is just our, there's no technology in here except for the electronics. We just, this is where I sit to read and talk on the phone, as I said. Also, doo -doo -doo, the newest carpet that this house has seen since 1942. So last week we had this brand new carpet we got from Lowe's, actually. Um, I know I should work with smaller companies, but I just didn't have the time after being sick. Um, and as we get closer to spring and things get busy, I just didn't have the time to wait for this room to get finished. It just had to, we had to get, get it done. So spring's very busy around here, so I needed this project to be finished. Um, yeah, so this is the new sitting room, and I'm super pleased with how it turned out. And uh, I hope you guys are spending a wonderful late winter, early spring. I'm just going to go with early spring. It's still February, but I just have to have something to latch on to. But <laughs> well, I love winter, but it just after, after the kind of winter we've had this year, it's just been so cold, and... Um, I'm ready for spring. So now these two cast iron characters right here, down here in the, uh, next to the, this is a colonial gun box. Um, that is peanut butter and that is jelly. And those are my two cast iron um, farm animals I got at an antique store about 15 years ago. And then I just use my antique gun box to put my favorite books. I'm still kind of feathering this nest, so there's a, some pictures laying around and such and so. And over here in this corner is some of my favorite things, beeswax candles and my very favorite culinary books, Food in England and La Rose Gastronomique. Um, one of which my son gave me this or gave me a gift card and that came from the library in the county of Durham in England and this my mom and dad gave me as a gift for when I graduated from culinary school so yep so thanks again for visiting and super big hugs and I've got lots more content ideas and I just want to thank you so much for visiting, and I will see you next time.